Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So bringing you my latest, uh, the Ink Road Stamps order. And then I got a surprise in the mail I forgot I ordered, but those of you who have been following my glass dip pen journey, I think you're gonna love what I found. And uh, with that being said, let's get started. <clears throat> Real quick, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hope you stick around a spell. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Ding the bell if you wanna get notifications of future videos. Um, thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to get back to everybody. Um, some of y'all might notice my, my stubby hands look a little uglier. Um, my thumb got caught and ripped to the quick today, so I went ahead and chopped everything down. But this little sucker hurts really bad. Anywho, let's see the goodies that I got. This isn't a big order today. Um... I, right now, I'm, I'm just hoping they come out with some more um, pre-orders because I think I have everything that I want. Well, actually, I take that. There's one I want really bad, and I'm waiting for it to get back in stock. Um, so as soon as that's back in stock, I'll put another order in. So the freebie this time were some clear sequins and this green pigment ink pad. So there's that. Of course, we have the I'm a roadie. Uh, information card if anybody's interested that is how you uh, sign up for um, to get you know information on them then there are always, there's always one of these cute postcards and this is so me should I buy these craft supplies the head says no the wallet says no the craft room says please no mine says more than that and then me says I'll take it all Yep, queen of no willpower right here. So, um, these are getting, I'm going to find some cute little frames and put these around the craft room. So, little Miss Lonnie right here, she is the little ink road girl that I had to, um, that caused this order. And I thought she's adorable. Again, I think all these little girls in her series, they all just remind me of my daughter. And so got all kinds of different fonts in happy birthday. Calories, I think you mean delicious points. Then we have confetti and decorations, and then you can choose her lips. And um, so there's Miss Lonnie. Then I picked up, this is called Daisy Bouquet. It says, Courage, Dear Heart. I really love that. And I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I want to emboss this and do a loose watercolor with it. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. And then your other stamp, You've Come So Far. So super pretty. And I think there might actually be a die to this, but I haven't really gone in to check. And even, even, not, even if there isn't, um, I could throw it on my scan and cut and cut it out if I don't feel like fussy cutting. Then, um, now that I got this, I think I may already have it. And if that's the case, this is going to end up in a giveaway down the road. Um, this one is called Daisy's Scrap. Um, this looks like it's a collaboration. It's called uh, Daisy Scrap. So that must be a YouTube channel. So maybe go see if you can hunt this person down. So there's that. And then the last stamp I got, this one is called Beautiful Mess. And so we have Create and Love, Creative Freedom. And then we have our scissors, pens, um, paint brushes, Love My Jam, Paper Love, Listen to Your Art, Go Make a Mess, Art is Life, I Am Creative, and Bless This Beautiful Messy Soul. And then hashtag beautiful mess. And then um, this beautiful wreath and some other minis to add. So I was, I think the last time, a couple times, this was sold out. So this was in and I grabbed it this go around. So super excited. Those were the only stamps I got in this order. And then I'm going to put this down set these pretty things off to the side and so the jewels I got this time around I picked up it's called large flat gems Sarah ocean and let's see what we got 
They're kind of expensive. They're, I think it's like almost $3.99 for each one of these little pots, but you actually get quite a bit in it, quite a bit, sorry, in each pot. Here, we'll do this. I can bring it up closer to y'all. I think there's like three different size uh, flat backs. They're all flat backs. So, so really pretty. And that's called Sarah's Ocean. So there's that one. This one is called Denise Pink Large Flat Gems. <clears throat> and these ones have more of an iridescent color to them. And there's a couple of different shades. So there's purples. There's some, let me get them in here. Some bright pinks, some pale pinks. Let's see. Got a nice little like collection of um, pastel, real pretty colors in there. And I, there we go. Don't know why my camera wasn't focusing, but there's that one. Then I grabbed Shannon Green. Do 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 do. And I think there's only like two shades. All right, I guess I could be wrong. Sorry. So there are the greens. And they kind of have a slight facet to them, if you can catch that. So I really like those. And then last but not least, I got Angie Rainbow. And I believe this one here is a repurchase for me. And this is one that I love so much that I'll probably order one of these with every one of my orders until I have like a big old giant stash. So there's blues and pinks, or maybe it just depends. Here we go, there's the pink, light green, here we go. I think that's the bulk of the colors. And this one looks like they're all the same size. There's not a variation in, in the, uh, Come on, focus. There we go. It's, it's trying to grab the background. So there are Angie's rainbow. So I think those are going to be cute on some cards. My son's cat mustache is in here seeing what she can get into. Or oh, can y'all hear my washer trying to take off? I, I keep, so I keep my laundry detergent in huge like um apothecary jars and the same with like my oxyclean and my laundry crystals and because my washer's trying to launch they're kind of hitting each other i'm assuming you can hear that anywho guys that is my haul from ink road stamps and then these while this is super exciting for me um those who have been following the glass ink pen I think are really going to be in love with what arrived today set that off to the side we're going to do this and do 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 look at y'all a mermaid isn't that gorgeous let me see I don't know if you can see the detail I'm trying to get Oh, come on bent there we go see the detail in that I love it um, now I'm hoping that this writes well because it has it has straight furrows on it and they're big so I'm hoping that it still writes nicely um, y'all can see the whole thing it's a gorgeous pen, um, but I'm, I'm really afraid that it's going to allow the ink to flow way more than I care for it to, and I didn't think to get my ink out. Give me just a second. We'll do a quick little test. I just don't have... Where did I stash you? There you are. Okay. Let's see how she writes. 
I'm really afraid to do this because I don't have any water here to rinse right away. Here we go. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Oh, well, the nib seems to hold the ink really well. It doesn't seem to be like pooling at the tip. Let's find the sweet spot. We had to, I guess we had to get it going. Here we go. I adore glass dip pens. Once you get it going, this one actually writes nicely. It's not super smooth, but I think I may attempt a little bit of like a six or 800 um, wet dry um, grit sandpaper and see how that turns out. Um, because this is a super fat um, body, it is a little awkward to hold, but I think like if this, if I practice, it'll, you know, work better. It doesn't seem to hold a lot of ink at all. Let's see. Yeah, I'm writing really awkward. The delightful Crawford, really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, so I'm pretty sloppy with this. It is a really big, if you can see that, it's like super thick right here. And it's kind of awkward to hold. But it sure is gorgeous. I'm looking at some special um, drawers to uh to order to store all my glass pens in and um i think i found what i'm going to order they're actually supposed to be like marker and pencil drawers and i haven't ordered them yet but i think i'm going to i'll probably line it in like felt or something to keep them from like rolling around and hitting each other because there's not individual compartments if that makes sense but i figure i would get more use out of them that way because then I can open the drawer and actually see all the pens versus right now each one is stored in the box they came in in a drawer so that means I would have to go through the drawer go through each box and you can see where I'm going with that it, that, that would be tedious and I probably wouldn't use them so so anywho so yeah I I'm gonna get off here so I can Go rinse this off so the glue doesn't, or the not the glue, the ink doesn't dry on there and ruin my beautiful new pen. With that, y'all, I hope you have a great week. I do have a fairly decent sized Tuesday morning haul, but I'm going to be sharing with you guys, if not tomorrow, definitely on Friday. And I had my tonic craft kit that I was going to share, but my husband thought he was helping and moved all my craft supplies, and so I have to go find the new one. So, um, I will, I'll definitely be showing it to you this weekend. I just have to figure out where he stashed it. Uh, so yeah. So with that guys, hope you have a great, um, rest of your week. There's two more wake ups to the weekend and, um, I'm looking forward to it. Y'all have a great night. Miss Gloria, Crafting with the Heart, please don't forget to reach out to me so I can get your prize in the mail to you. And um, happy crafting, y'all. Love you. Bye-bye.